Hey guys, so today Apple has officially released iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 1 for devices compatible with Apple Intelligence. Now, Apple also released today the second public beta for iOS 18.0. So, Apple is currently testing two different versions of iOS 18.0 which is currently sitting in public beta 2 and developer beta 4 and the first developer beta for iOS 18.1. Now, obviously, iOS 18.0 is set to release mid to late September and 18.1, which brings Apple intelligence, it's set to be released mid to late October. So Apple has officially delayed the release and the rollout for Apple intelligence. Now developers have the chance to test Apple intelligence within iOS 18 and developer beta one. And now in this video, I wanted to talk about what's new with Apple intelligence. Once you download iOS 18.1 today, you have to jump into settings, go under Apple intelligence and Siri and request to get access to join the Apple wish list for Apple intelligence. Now I did capture this on a screen recording. So here it is. This is what I did right here. I jumped into settings. I went into the Apple Intelligence and Siri section, and right there, you can join the beta and you'll start testing Apple Intelligence. It usually takes about a couple of minutes for Apple to send the files to download locally onto your device, and then you'll be able to start using Apple Intelligence on your device. You'll go through a few prompts that look something like this. As you can see right there, we have, of course, the new Siri 2.0 update right there. You can press on the side button for Siri. Obviously, you also have the Speak to Siri and you have the Tap to Siri options available with Apple Intelligence, and you have the new keyboard UI with Apple Intelligence integration. So let's talk about everything that's new in regards to the new Apple Intelligence within iOS 18.1. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is the new Siri 2.0 update. This one gives us the new glow around the edges of their display. When you press on the side button for Siri, as you can see right there, we also have right there the text field on the top as I speak. We have the animation going across this display here. And obviously you also have the Hey Siri command that you can use in order to enable Siri on your device. So, Hey Siri, you see a really cool animation. It goes up to the top here. And obviously you get all the cool Siri stuff integrated with an Apple intelligence and in new Siri 2.0, including the tap to Siri. So you double tap on the bottom of the screen right there. The multitasking bar right there appears and it gets highlighted. The tap to Siri isn't working on this initial first beta for iOS 18.1 developer beta one. So if you double tap, you see there that it does glow but it does not invoke Siri with the tap to Siri for whatever reason. And now something else I did want to talk about is obviously the new writing tools available within Apple Intelligence. So as we jump into messages right here, you see that I have a sentence that I compose here with this message thread. I can highlight the entire message and you see that automatically I get the suggestions for Apple Intelligence writing tools from professional to rewrite to Apple Intelligence right here. The entire menu, as you can see right there, we have different options to choose from so I can go with friendly and it will rewrite the entire sentence slightly friendlier I guess you can call it for me it can go backwards as well and obviously I can choose professional as well and obviously it'll be more professional better uh, you know punctuations and things of that nature so obviously Apple intelligence writing tools will continue to get better as more feedback is provided by users but yeah you can either highlight the entire sentence as you can see there and get all your tools or you can use the bubble menu or the pop-up menus here on top of the words and highlight right there and use all your tools available to you within the new Apple writing tools with Apple intelligence. And obviously this also works with the email application with notes and things of that nature throughout the operating system. Obviously even third party applications will be able to take advantage of a lot of these writing tools within Apple intelligence. Next, I want to talk about car recording. This is a feature that many iPhone users have been wanting for quite some time. And it is now officially here. I'm just going to call this other iPhone here and let's initiate the call and show you how car recording works within iOS 18.1 developer beta one. So let's mute the microphones here so we don't get any echo. But on the top left corner, I think you can see the little glyph right there. That is the new call recording glyph. So if we press that, it notifies the other person. This call, this call recording. Recording. You hear that? The call is being recorded. So the other person is notified. And once the call is completed, once you end the call, obviously you'll be able to go into your notes and see a recording or hear a recording or see a live transcript of the most recent phone call inside of the notes application. So you can jump into your notes 
and see the most recent recording right there and request a transcript, obviously using Apple intelligence as well. So call recording is now officially here with iOS 18.1 and I know many iPhone users were looking forward to this one. Now, obviously this is only beta one, so there's still a few features not here just yet for Apple intelligence. There's a lot of stuff missing from Siri. There's no on-screen awareness just yet. So obviously Siri can't really detect what's on your screen or in-app actions for Siri that's still not here just yet. And as I mentioned earlier, if you double tap on the bottom of the screen for type to Siri, this is not fully functional within iOS 18 developer beta one on my device. There's also image playground, which allows you to create custom images using Apple intelligence. That application will soon roll out within iOS 18.1 future betas, but it's not here just yet. And also Genmoji is not here just yet. I try to create custom emojis on my devices and it doesn't seem to be working on any of these devices. So obviously this is beta one iOS 18.1 point one beta one the first beta for apple intelligence as more time goes by apple i'm sure will continue to add additional functionalities before the rollout of apple intelligence mid to late october with ios 18.1 in the form of beta thank you for watching this quick update and i'll see you guys on the next one peace